Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for me to get railed again by Death Paddle fans? Because they absolutely hate that I have fantastic good opinions that don't always agree with the actual Death Battle people. So, today, due to mass request, we are doing Scooby-Doo versus Courage the Cowardly Dog Death Battle. This was the most requested one. Get this one to 10,000 likes and drop me some requests in the comments and I will do other ones in the future because I'm loving doing Death Battles because I do my research first and then I drop in. So, let me be frank here. Death battle between Courage and Scooby-Doo, I think, depends how they're gonna judge the different feats of these characters. I think that there are a lot of really slapstick scenes in both of these shows where they can tank anything. I don't think Goku would be able to kill Courage the Cowardly Dog if you take all of his feats and you play them literally. Man will get sucked in a black hole and he'll be totally fine. So, if you're gonna take all the slapstick comedy in Courage the Cowardly Dog and Scooby-Doo as fact, they're literally immortal, unbreakable deities. And so, that that's why I'm a little scared to say or judge, but if I had to pick one, I'd say Courage the Cowardly Dog probably takes this. I feel like Courage, <laughs> he dodges bullets. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He's got that toon force. It's like Scooby-Doo and Courage the Cowardly Dog both rock gear five at all times. So let's see what we got here. How's the volume for you guys? Scooby-Doo, the miraculous mutt from Mystery <laughs> of <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it. Brandon. Courage, the cowardly dog straight out of nowhere. Yeah. Penis familiaris, man's Dude, best friend. I freaking fr love these guys. I love both these characters. Ah! I, I, ah, God, I have to say I'm going to give it to Courage. This might be a tie. I feel like this could be a tie, but they don't do ties. But I don't know. I feel like if anyone could be a tie, it could be something like this, honestly. Friend. Like, they both the have that Toon Force edge that just makes them completely invincible. Ah. Uh. No animal companion has stood by humanity's side as long or as loyally. That is so untrue. Debbie from Invincible is easily the greatest pet in all of fiction. All right, I'm going to get canceled for that take. Let's keep going. And maybe especially these two yellow-bellied, lily-livered scaredy cats. Or dogs. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And yeah, it's our job to right, the weapons, <laughs> armor, and skills to find out who would win a, a death battle. battle. Return the slab. I suffer my curse. Throughout the ages, countless... What the f... <laughs> I did not expect that segue. What is that segue? Oh my god. Philosophers have posited the same question time and time again. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? Oh my Ra god, dude, that was so, that could have been such a wilder segue. Okay. Pretty much everywhere, from cartoons to comics, from video games to board games, from live theater to the most incredible major motion picture of all time. Yeah, that might be one of the worst live action movies I've ever seen in my entire life. He's the greatest Dane since Hamlet. But his monumental presence in popular culture belies his humble origins. Ah, oh, he was just a simple dog. <laughs> Born to Momsy and Dada Do in Doosville. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, what? I didn't know that. <sighs> Doosville ain't what it used to be ever since they moved all those manufacturing jobs to Bangladesh. The young Scoobert was adopted by the Rogers family and their prodigal gluttonous son, Norville, better known by his friends, Shaggy. Shaggy. Those oh my god, dude. I, if they even show a single clip of the Velma show, I'm gonna lose my shit. ...being Velma Dinkley, Daphne Blake, Fred Jones, and sometimes... <laughs> With their powers combined, oh, they God, are scrappy, dude. What are they? What is even going on? <laughs> what are they even gonna do here? Like, I just wonder how are they actually gonna make this a death battle? Mystery Incorporated, a cadre of snot-nosed teenagers traveling the Nixon era oh, United States. Dude, I could... literally have so many great memories from Scooby-Doo, and every time I think of Velma, those memories are corrupted. It is a scar on my soul. Up Volkswagen, foiling seemingly paranormal crimes and Jeepers, unmasking corrupt the authority figures. All of whom definitely would have gotten away with it too if it oh, weren't for those the, meddling the, the, kids the, the, and the their dog. dog. Scooby is in the. Dude, do they have to always say the, the quotes? Like the gimmicky lines from the show are in every single death battle. Dispensable in Mystery Inc. investigations. Great Danes were bred by 17th century German. Oh my god, are they power scaling Great Danes? Hunt bear, boar, okay. and deer, which means he's a master tracker. Scooby. <laughs> what the fuck?
Mm, yes, mm, yes, great days. Yes, they could, uh, they could tank a uh, tranquilizer. These super sniffer nose can root out the bad guys no matter how well hidden. They were called Kamarahunda or chamber dogs. Yeah. Because they stay in their prince's chambers. I love how they, they, like, yes, talking about great Danes, literally show a dire wolf. And protect them from assassins. Such brave, fearless doggos. Too bad for Shaggy. Yeah, brave and fearless. Two, two of Scooby's greatest fe features. In the gang, the apple didn't just fall far. Then they're gonna press our power scaling courage. Courage is a rare purple dog. <laughs> <laughs> From the tree, it defied the laws of Newtonian physics and rocketed into space at the speed of light. Because Scooby is an absolute coward. He's terrified of his own shadow and constantly anxious about everything imaginable. And his only motivation- I'm just so excited for them to talk about speed feats and be like, After the floor crumbles below him, he manages to move his legs fast enough to fly in mid-air Looney Tune style. This is clearly a light speed feat and would absolutely outspeed the Flash and Superman. ...is his delicious Scooby Snacks. Which makes it so baffling that he's actually kind of a badass. Scooby's a master of what? the dupe, a classic technique of cartoon... Oh my god, is that Team Rocket? <laughs> <laughs> oh god damn it sometimes called the power of positive assertion scooby what? flexes his mastery of disguise to fool would-be attackers oh like yes. seducing zombies as a belly dancer or tricking a jester into entering an god it's so sad you fuck one dog and everyone always remembers you as a dog fucker it's so wrong society is so twisted for that editor cut that out that did not need to be editor take that away <laughs> editor man was so thoroughly convinced to read entire life he went all the way home and got into bed before realizing he'd been fooled obviously these disguises shouldn't work at all but scooby uh, so excuse me when has that stopped you in the past from power scaling shouldn't work at all i'm just a little spooked now that they're gonna actually have this matter in the actual death battle supernaturally talented they just do uh, see this is a perfect example no one in their right mind would think that that's anyone but boom sticking an awful wig and makeup that's my mom <laughs> wait what is death battle actually funny sometimes question mark it's so all about the confidence bro you can just rock the confidence sorry ma'am if those disguises sound completely impossible, that's because they are. I you might have thought of the Scooby-Doo series as being pretty grounded with all its men and masks, but then one day, the mask did not come off. It is terror time again. Got you running through the night. This was easily one of the best Scooby-Doo movies. That's right. It's terror time again. No way he's singing the same song as me. Now everyone's gonna be, hey, next, pre-watched, pre-watched. <laughs> You freaking idiots! I did that. There's no way he's singing. <laughs> oh, I can't escape. I literally cannot escape this pre-watched vibe because I'm just so good at basic meat. Classic Nux pre-watch. Chat, you people are evil. You know. Why would if <laughs> the monsters started being real and Scooby became just as bonkers to match? Like, remember those Scooby snacks? They started to give him a physical boost in strength. Wait, what? Like Popeye spinach. Wait, what? That's a thing that happened? Brilliant uncle, Albert Shackelford, upgraded those snacks with what? nanite Wait. technology, no. giving them a variety of no. effects. Everything from invisibility, robotic armor, force What the heck? intelligence, and panther. I am so confused. Is that actually real? Yeah, nano machines, dog, and we're just getting started. He can stretch and squash his body anyway. Dude, I I told you they were gonna use the cartoon Looney Tune gimmicks as actual lore. They're gonna have him running faster than light as actual speed feats. Oh my god. He likes even duplicating himself or regenerating. Duplicating himself? Dot. He didn't duplicate he himself. That was out of fear. Oh my god. Squash his body. Our death battle has instantly gone from actual legitimate power scaling to literal cartoon bullshit. You know what? I'm here for it. He's up against Courage the Cowardly Dog. If you want to scale them, scale them. Getting chopped into pieces, crumbling into dust, or just blowing up. It's oh my god. I knew they were going to do this. I literally started before this entire thing saying that they were going to actually take this completely seriously. Flight levitation? These are literal feats you're giving him in a legitimate death battle. Time manipulation and painting hopping, shape shifting and duplication. Bro, man would annihilate Goku. I'm honestly, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Bro would 
take Goku to the washer. Soul was literally scared out of his body, and both his body and soul kept going at the same time. You know what? I'm here for it. I'm not taking this one too seriously. I I'm all for it. Go it for doesn't it, doesn't make sense. He can appear in multiple places at once. Ignore- Oh my god, they're using the locker room sketches of how they he goes in one door and pops out another. Just basic cartoon physics breaking comedy okay all right you know what sure honestly just go for it i don't even <laughs> i don't even know gravity rewind time with his time scepter or super speed draw things into super existence speed. and mess with the plot of his own show things getting a little too spooky for him he'll just cut to commercial break he's also got weapons like the oh super spooker 3000 a gun that instills fear into the hearts of man. Oh, and that's gonna be good up against courage. Not like an actual gun, it, it literally shoots fear. Or Makes the chest of demons. I'm and just saying, um, Scooby would annihilate Doctor Who and Omni-Man. ...containing 13 monstrous ghosts. Ghosts! Should you be trapped within its grasp, your body and soul will be imprisoned in everlasting torment in this here- Oh my god, he's gonna lock- He's gonna lock what's his face. Poor Courage, the cowardly dog, is gonna get stuck in the chest of infinite torment. To for undiscovered tenth circle of hell. Neat! The undiscovered is tenth circle of hell. <laughs> I love this so much. I just laser oh, beams and electric. Dude, power scaling is always so fun. Literally. Electromagnetic waves survived being at the epicenter of an explosion that blew up time Makes and sense. successfully performed the Zabrinsky Triangle with Shaggy and Maddie Ziegler. The Zabrinsky Triangle is a dance so unbelievably dangerous that even imperfect executions have caused widespread destruction. All right, you know, Scooby lore, I give it to you, Scooby. Take them down. Performed perfectly. Take it was them so down. beautiful. It literally lit up the entire universe and blew up the enormous snow globe containing it. It makes sense if you watch the show. Makes sense Actually, to me. No, it, it doesn't. Taking this literally, we can measure the volume of the broken glass compared to the size of- mm, Yes, if this is actually the universe, well then this amount of damage is universal level destruction, bro. Scooby-Doo just performs the dance, fucking annihilates everyone in the tournament to power. Our entire this is just science. Within it. In order to shatter what is essentially an enormous glass superstructure, each dancer would have to be generating enough energy to destroy our universe 11 quintillion times over. That's right! Maddie Ziegler is a universe buster. With Scooby-Doo as their nigh-omnipotent mascot, yes. Mystery Incorporated has saved the world from alien invasions, wielded the power of a yellow lantern ring, and was even made a member of the Mystery Analysts of Gotham by Batman him- Dude, he just casually destroyed a universe, and now you're saying even Batman recognized him. Woo! Batman! Himself. Yes, Batman, the world's greatest detective, recognizes Scooby's skills. Even facing down and defeating sure. the evil entity, an eldritch dark god, and surviving its death, which rewrote all of reality. Yeah. Yeah. You know, talking Scooby. dog that crossed over with the Harlem Globetrotters and Don Knotts defeated Satan. No biggie. So, where That's is Scooby-Doo? He's solving mysteries and saving the world with his found family. Also, he's an alien. Wait, what? Let's go, baby. We interrupt okay. this- Okay, dude, all right. Oh my God, just looking at those feet. I, 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 maybe my prediction going for, uh, what's his face for Courage is wrong, but I feel like Courage has even wilder cartoon feet. I'm just saying. I feel like this might be the first tie. I feel like both of these characters are invincible. I feel like Toon Logic keeps them from losing to anything. Program to bring you Courage the Cowardly Dog. But I ain't no snitch. I ain't no backpedaler. I'm still putting my eggs in Courage's basket, okay? Oh, starring Courage the Cowardly Dog. Abandoned as a pup, he was found by Muriel. Yeah, Muriel! Let's go! Wood. Where with her husband, Eustace Bag. What's your offer? Oh, slab guy! <laughs> Did not see that coming. Creepy stuff happens in nowhere. Oh, it's yeah. up to Courage to save- Courage the Cowardly Dog is actually peak fiction. I'm just saying. Actually peak fiction. His new home. Stupid whiz, you made me look bad. Ooga booga booga! You're breathing on me. Get away. 
Sorry. What? Who uh, wouldn't be excited okay. for one of animation's mightiest mutts? Yeah! He's an adorable pink beagle with a heart. Pink beagle, beagle sized, Muriel and Eustace Bag. It's a horrible name. Stupid dog, dear boy Leon. Not named Stinky Lulu. Can lay 14 carat golden eggs. Of gold and an undying okay. love for his doting Scottish mistress. Beagles are hare hunters with intense separation. Because they're actually power scaling the dogs. It's like, mm, yes, beagle. beagles are known to be able to do this amount of levels of damage. Mm, yes, beagles are incredibly strange and powerful and good at sniffing. Also, this specific one could survive a nuclear explosion. So it's really good that we defined the strengths of beagles as a species. Also, can we just acknowledge for a second that they put beagle as species you idiots at death battle its species is dog beagle is its breed to howl about nowhere usa is a magnet for interdimensional weirdness attracting some of the strangest freaks in the world yeah criminals cats and laquack mattress demons mummies moles, mad scientists gods and goddesses aliens robots alien robots this chicken the king of flan so and of good. course the united states government actually such peak fiction honest to god like scooby-doo it depends on the season and whatever like some of scooby-doo is like really great then there are a couple of scooby-doos that are just very mid courage the cowardly dog is just so peak poor courage is absolutely terrified of all of it but his devotion to muriel means he'll always step up and fight the good fight yeah kind of a genius he's a brilliant engineer capable of whipping up the most devious of traps almost instantly and he's got an unending supply of tools at his disposal everything oh my god they're gonna use the goofy infinite pockets okay ray gun mallet magic tree of nowhere computer banishment spell god bone flamethrower chainsaw mind control helmet and remote instant quicksand gas max dark matter meteor they're taking that literally oh my god that's glorious rusty mallets to grappling hooks ray guns flamethrowers chainsaws bombs beagle sized cannons yo-yos a mind control helmet vampire hunting gear and the god bone Let's an go. ancient artifact that is completely irresistible to any mortal dog forcing <laughs> oh my god he's gonna use the god bone against scooby getting them to lick it until they die except for courage of course i guess if you have the willpower to stare down a gigantic purple foot mobster you can resist oh feet for free for free! Most delicious of treats. And he can pull all of this stuff out of his ass anytime he wants. He oh, it's true. Man's ass is the infinite void. Bro thinks he's the witch from the hair episode of Adventure Time, just sucking people into her infinite asshole. Exactly what he needs. All thanks to his computer named Computer. A sentient desktop which knows almost anything and everything, Base. even if he has a bit of an attitude about it. Which means he's always prepared, especially when he can shapeshift his body into literally- Oh my god, dude. He's using the- Oh my god! These are feats? Anything he can think of. From inanimate objects to monsters to different animation mediums entirely. Courage usually uses this as a form of charades to communicate with others, yeah. but don't get it twisted. These aren't just visual animation gags. His they, body they is are. actually shapeshifting. Courage! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Toon Force back at it again. I told you, he is actually immortal. You will never be able to defeat Courage. Courage is literally an indestructible entity. SCP-672 or whatever, the, the indestructible lizard's got nothing on Courage. But he is a canvas upon which his imagination runs wild. He can stretch to crazy lengths, shrink to There we go, we got our Toon Force again. Flight and levitation, hammer space, fourth wall awareness, imagination, creation, plot manipulation, size manipulation, time manipulation. Bro, he has the same powers as Scooby, because they both just have random Toon Force gimmicks. Epic sizes, turn invisible, appear anywhere he wants, or duplicate himself. He's also effectively immune to damage. Oh, he still yeah. feels pain. Man is but actually immortal. He, he feels pain, but he is actually immortal. Apparently, his sheer terror overrides it like the times he tore himself in half or oh my god they're taking these literally i love it i love it honestly if you're gonna do your tune hacks for one character do it for the other two Respect. turn himself fully inside out the dude somehow vaporized his entire body completely without even ash remaining and he just popped back good as new classic cartoon <laughs> shenanigans but technically anatomically correct 
until it isn't. Courage can create objects from his imagination and often breaks the fourth wall, directly addressing Dude. the audience. Now, you would think being an impossible- It's the light bulb. The light bulb gimmick of when he starts thinking is included in imagination creation. Well, to kill force of nature would boost his confidence a bit, but isn't that what anxiety does to you? It undermines your sense of self-worth and magnifies the problems okay. around you. Sure, but courage is also fighting gods just as powerful as himself. Like this enormous alien which could spike meteors so hard it spun the Earth a thousand years into the future. That's crazy! That's then, me. Courage got shot out of a cannon that punched him through the moon, only to get slapped by that same alien <laughs> and sent crashing back to the planet. Let's go! And he was fine! Courage is Dude, strong. I'm telling you, man is actually immortal. Literally. Enough to physically patch up holes in the ozone layer, hold stars in his hands. I think I've made... In my last um, death battle reaction, which I think was the Omni-Man one, where I talked about how Omni-Man versus Homelander was the biggest stomp in death battle history, I am now vividly reminded by SpongeBob. SpongeBob versus Aquaman is easily, by far, the most insane death battle stomp. I, I can't believe I didn't think of it when I was talking about it. They, they literally used Tomb Force against a regular superhero and screams so loud he shattered the sun <laughs> they're using that as a feat <laughs> they're using that as a feat dude so before they made this death battle some poor intern had to watch all of courage the cowardly dog again and take every stupid little cartoon gimmick and <laughs> throw them into the power scaling Google Doc. Oh my god! A scream Respect. like that would be like getting hit with over 100 septillion hydrogen bombs all at once. Which is, you know, a lot. And keep in mind, the sound waves yep, of his scream would have had to travel through the near vacuum of space. Basically a complete- Oh my god, I didn't think of that! Scientific impossibility. Next time you replace my beers in the fridge with LaCroix, I'm getting my boy Jack Spaniels to blow up the sun. You've been warned. Now that's not all. Okay. One time he operated a peloton controlling a UFO and pedaled it fast enough to fly past Saturn, enter hyperspace, and cross the Milky Way galaxy. Though Courage's oh greatest God, challenge bro. came from inside his very home. A monster who tortures his poor pooch every single day. A depraved, psychotic mother The true no. prince of darkness! Don't the greatest villain in cartoon history! Eustace! He even collected- That dude is pure evil. Actual evil. All of Courage's greatest foes like a legion of doom. All to mercilessly beat <laughs> Courage to a pulp in a game of dodgeball. It gives all rednecks a bad name, Liz. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! This dude over here- <laughs> Oh my god, Lex Luthor wishes he was Eustace. I want to end him. Low. Okay, well, Courage's accumulated yeah. PTSD always held him back until he met a kindred spirit, another cowardly monster hunting hound, Scooby Doo. Oh, oh yeah, my I remember god. him. Together, they discover the source of nowhere's weirdness. Friendship forged in fear. That's what it's all about. Dark matter meteor that controlled reality itself. Amazing. Originally the meteor that wiped out the dinosaurs, its dark matter can rewrite the laws of physics, control minds, and turn courage into a giant kaiju. Taking the meteor for himself, courage finally faced his fears, defeating this cicada queen goddess thing and saving his family Let's once go. and for all. Yes, even Eustace. Ah, wait, so, and are they using that as one of his weapons? Like the, uh, I never saw this crossover personally, but are they using this, um, dark matter meteor as like actually one of his weapons in this arsenal? Well, let that be a lesson to any who would encroach upon the bag's humble farm. It has a protector. He may be small and he may be Dude, scared, but standing so up much. to our fears is what makes us brave in the first place. That's what they're gonna t if they take that Scooby Doo feat of destroying the universe snow globe thing literally. I don't know, man. That's rough. I feel like that. That's but he can't do it himself, right? He, he has a third of that power. I don't know why his name is Courage. God damn. I, I feel like this is so rough. Literal Toon Force versus Toon Force. What is even going on here? Oh, I just I want to say it's a draw because I can't see any of them losing. We've run the data through all possibilities. It's time for a dog battle. Wait, but he has the God Bone. He has the God Bone. 
let's go courage. God, God I it like that it sounds. Bro, you realize death battle, these guys that put these two poor puppers into one place to kill each other are literally as bad as the Eustace they've sworn to destroy. Ariel? Ariel? Ariel! Good voicing. Raggy! Raggy! What is even happening? Dude, they did such a good job with this. I am so impressed. Why are they fighting? Turbans, no rhythm, me. What do I do? What do I do? This is such peak animation. Honestly, I am so impressed. Logic, bro. I don't even know, bro. First of all, they did such a good job with this animation. I am literally so impressed. This might be one of their best works. <laughs> yeah, the greatest dodge of all time. Rips himself in half. <laughs> What is even- <laughs> I'm literally shaking. I- I can't even say anything. I'm so impressed with how far they came. Death Battle, I am so happy you exist on YouTube. This is such high quality. Oh, there's one more thing. Ah! Bro, I thought he was gonna open one of those doors and see, like, a tweet with the N-word on it and be like, ah! <laughs> Let me get a big boy. Oh my god. I am okay. I again, I still don't see how any of them wins, honestly. You twit. No, the dance. <laughs> oh my god, literal fourth wall breaking. Nice. <laughs> Dark matter meteor. <laughs> The God Bone! All dogs love their bones, don't they? Uh-huh, uh-huh! No way! <laughs> Scooby Snacks and he's become immortal. There's no way you can take this fight seriously. Like, there's no conclusive way to decide a victor here. I'm still standing my boy courage, but I want to see a draw. I literally want to see a draw. The Chad James! And it's not. He ate the god bone! <laughs> God, they just want to torture Eustace. I feel like this entire episode was just a grudge match between two characters that they loved and knew couldn't be defeated just to roast Eustace. Huh? Well, ow! Oh, ow! Come out!
god, it literally was a draw! I predicted it! I cannot believe I predicted a draw! I am an actual god. Pre-watch! <laughs> like, they understood their assignment, they understood their medium, they didn't take it too seriously, and they gave it a draw. Honest respect. What? Who won? Wiz, uh, as happy as I am to avoid on-screen dog murder, uh, wasn't one of them supposed to die? Not since the Great Norris Sancho Singularity event of 2015 have we had a result like this. It can't end like this, right? They literally both have these universal destroying shit, and they are both immortal, and they'll both survive all of that. That's what I'm saying. They are two characters that are too cartoon to die. I think the Zabrinsky Triangle would be enough to seal the deal, but both pooches could regenerate from basically any kind of physical damage. Both were incredibly smart in different ways. Scooby was more of a trickster with his dupes, while Courage was a scheming genius. Computer could yes. have given Courage the edge if not for their canon crossover where it failed to have solid information on Scooby and the gang. So I guess it came down okay, to the all right, abilities. And for 90% of their arsenals, they were evenly matched. Transmutation, mind control, you get it. They're tunes with basically anything except for the chest of demons and the dark matter meteor. Sure, the chest could theoretically always trap Courage, I but guess. he'd always be able to escape and destroy it with the dark matter meteor. But Scooby there we could go. The Lore! They both have infinite hacks! <laughs> the damage by reversing time and then trap him again. And then Courage would break out again. You know where this is going. Ultimately, this battle between man's best friends would never end. But this is a death battle. Somebody has to die. Don't so worry, we included Eustace. Ladies and gentlemen, we found someone to die for our sins. Someone did, Wiz. Nah, someone did. Did anybody tell you that you're kind of scary sometimes? I don't like do They just introduced an entirely new character just to have him get murdered. They're just like, you know what? This is a death battle. Someone has to die. Let's include this asshole. Dog killers. Scooby and Courage were incredibly tough opponents that could go blow for blow for blow. They were smart, powerful, and incredibly broken. Doggone it, Wiz. I guess you could say Eustace had one hell of a rough day. I shit you not. Okay, oh. bro. Those were powerful. Oh, God, stop. stop. Please, stop. This battle is a draw. Actually goaded episode. This might have been one of their best episodes. I'm really legitimately impressed. Thank you all so much for being here. And remember to leave likes and let me know the next one you want me to watch. Like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch. Stay weird, fam.